Unfortunately, if we built a PC for every fan who asked us, we would be overworked, exhausted, and probably out of business. But Grant's case is special. Grant reached out through the Make-A-Wish Foundation with a simple wish. He wanted to meet me. But due to the ongoing pandemic situation and the fact that he is over the border in the United States, we were unable to make that happen. Make-A-Wish compromised and said, hey, how about a digital meet and greet? But the thing is, you can only have one wish. So it was just gonna be hanging out. Until Crucial sponsored this video where we are going to be building a dream PC. Or would I call it a wish PC? That's right, what we're gonna be putting together is what I would want if I was building the sweetest gaming rig. And we're gonna to get to see Grant's face when he opens it up. The journey that's led Grant to this point started when he was 14 and he was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. But the horrible disease with a horrible sounding name is not the story today. The story today is that he is now on a maintenance program for his meds and kid's a big gamer. Loves Overwatch, Legend of Zelda, Minecraft, and Fallout. So naturally, the Ryzen 5 5600X that we were gonna put in this thing See you later, buddy. How did I end up with the 5600X in my hand? Where's the 5800X? <laughs> Found it. <laughs> Had to make a quick run to MedX. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I chose the 5800X because it is both a top of the line gaming CPU, as well as a capable performer when it comes to creative applications like game streaming or video editing. And for the motherboard, since any high-end board is gonna perform about the same, I wanted something that has all the high-end connectivity that Grant's gonna need for years to come. And this Tough Gaming X570 Pro Wi-Fi fits the bill. Wi-Fi 6, PCI Express Gen 4, two and a half gig ethernet, pretty much the wakes. Obviously for system memory, we went a little overkill, what with Crucial being the sponsor and all of that. So rather than go with 16 gigs of RAM, something, you know, reasonable for a gaming machine like that. We've gone with 32 gigs of 3600 megahertz CL16 memory, of course, with RGB. Let's go ahead and get this installed. And remember kids, friends don't let friends install their memory sticks in the nearer slots. You want these two, usually. Consult your manual. And as we move on to storage, this crucial gravy train only keeps getting better. So it's no secret that the best configs these days are gonna use an NVMe M.2 boot drive and then something else when it comes to mass storage because even a two terabyte drive like this crucial P5 is only gonna be able to hold a limited number of modern games. Fortunately, we had a plan. We dug around in our warehouse and found not one, but two MX500, two terabyte, two and a half inch SSDs, giving us a total of six terabytes of storage. That's two terabytes of NVMe storage and a whopping four terabytes of slower SSD storage. When it comes to cooling, there are obviously solutions that might cost less, look better, maybe even perform better. But when I want the ultimate balance between reliability, performance, and noise, I always turn to Noctua. We went with the NHU-12S, not because it's their highest end product, but because I think it is a great balance of the performance we need without being super bulky. And on that note, we're going to have to ship this PC and I need it to arrive in one piece. So the actual weight of the cooler was a big consideration for me. For our case, we've gone with the Fantex Eclipse P500A. It's a great balance of looks, cooling performance, because we're gonna have some pretty high-end hardware in here, and, okay, this part was a little selfish. It's super easy to build in. <laughs> this is one of the best things about Fantex cases. Look at this accessory kit. You've got all the extra hard drive brackets you need, and then inside one of them, all your screws handily organized by type. Absolutely love it. I'll start by installing our SSDs. These little toolless mounts are absolutely fantastic. Just screw them in like this, position them over the little nubbies, slide down, and you're good to go. 
Now's as good a time as any to connect our SATA data cables. And I'm gonna go ahead and run these bad boys right over yeah. here. Get down there. There. The Tough Series often eschews fancy features that do nothing for performance, like built-in I.O. shield, so I will have to install my own I.O. shield. Oh no! Okay, to be clear, built-in ones are actually a super nice treat, but you also don't need them. Now it's time for motherboard installation. I love these Fantex cases. They have that nice little nubbin in the middle. Uh, NZXT, Corsair are a couple of other brands that do this really well, so you can just pop the board in and it'll actually hold itself into place while you screw in the board. Not that I would actually recommend counting on that, it's <clears throat> just something that I do. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. You should, you should hold the board until you screw it in. The screwdriver will be available on LTPstore.com eventually. <clears throat> not yet, in the meantime, why not get a water bottle? Hey, we've got the new spout lid. If you've ever bought a water bottle, it's $5 off, so go check it out, LTPstore.com. Carrying on our system's theme of pragmatic yet performant, we've gone with an EVGA 750G6. This is a 750 watt power supply with 80 plus gold efficiency, a fully modular interface, a nice quiet fan, and a decent price point. It's exactly what you need for a system that performs great and looks great and nothing more. I'm sorry, Brandon, did I say this case is super easy to build in? It is. As long as you don't want to cable manage it at all. <laughs> now I just got to hook up the addressable RGB header for the included fans. Boop. There we go. There we go. Curiously, the only front panel switch is a power switch. No reset switch, no power LED. I guess the idea is that it uses the fans as a power LED, so it'll be pretty obvious if your system is on or off. We'll go ahead and plug in the front USB type C. Boop. Front USB type A. And obviously we'll need our front panel audio, which just goes in the bottom left corner right there. That's nice and clean. Oh, look at that. I already ran the 24 pin power connector, so we can go ahead and run that. And now we can snake up our four pin and eight pin connectors for the CPU. I'm gonna plug both of them in. There's not a lot of extra power supply capacity. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't overclock the snot out of this thing, but hey, it costs nothing to plug them in. Uh oh, come on, this better reach. Oh, I'm gonna be really annoyed if I have to plug in a completely separate SATA cable in order to plug in this drive. Oh no, there we go. Whew! That was close. Then our last one is gonna go over to power that RGB hub. Boop. Nice and tidy. Pretty much no extra wires in this one, ladies and gentlemen. This is such a Linus build. It's like good, but not over the top. And by Linus, I don't mean Linus tech tips. I mean, this is like what I would build back in the day. With one exception. This is gonna be a little awkward, Grant, because you were supposed to get an RTX 3060 Ti FTW3 from EVGA. But I thought, let's live a little. Know what I'm saying? We're going, R we're going RTX 3080 Ti. Oh yes. This is as fast as it gets but reasonable. Which brings us to the part of this video that we're not going to gloss over because everything you've seen up till now will already be assembled for you, but you are going to have to put in your graphics card yourself. So the first thing you'll do is take out these two screws. Then you wanna hold the card from the bottom like this, find these golden fingers and position them just above that top PCI Express 16X slot. Press in firmly, but not too hard, then you're gonna go ahead and reinstall these two thumb screws. To help you with that, I'll be sending you a one of a kind unique item, the very first 3D printed prototype of the LTT screwdriver. It don't actually work too good, but that's okay. We'll get you hooked up with one of the real ones once they roll off the production line, hopefully sometime later this year. By the way, don't forget to plug in the eight pin PCI Express power connectors for your graphics card. You will need all three of them. Not to be outdone, Logitech sent over their Pro Wired Gaming Keyboard as well as their Pro Superlight Gaming Mouse along with one of their Pro Wireless Headsets. And ASUS provided a Tough Gaming VG27AQ. It's a 1440p, 165 hertz IPS gaming monitor. Oh yeah, and it's of course got support for G-Sync. Oop, 
has a cable management hider thing. It just fell off. One moment, please. Hey, there we go. Nice. All 32 gigs of RAM detected. All of our drives are detected. All we got to do now is flip on our XMP profile. <clears throat> Excuse me, this is AMD. Our DOCP profile. So this is going to take us from our normal JDEX speeds to the higher overclocked speeds that our CPU, motherboard, and RAM should all be capable of. Let's do a quick reboot and see if it takes. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. Easy peasy. There's one other thing I have to change. Because we are using two SATA drives, and I want to run them in RAID, so I'm going to have a total of four freaking terabytes in my array, and boop, there it is. OK, RAID 0 is not like you know, the most reliable thing. But come on, these are SATA SSDs. We're not going to be writing to them that much. These are, this is a game drive. I think it'll be fine. Now all we got to do is add this wicked side panel, which was customized for Grant. We didn't want to uh, <clears throat> get in any trouble with the House of Mouse, so we're going into Cooper Spass, and um, it's like Stir Weirs themed. Madison did it up with our vinyl cutter. <laughs> I think it looks pretty sweet. And I guess Shadow of the Tomb Raider is going to be the game we run to validate that, in fact, our system is working. Love it. Man, this is a good looking game when it's cranked. And this is cranked. One thing I might tweak is that I'm feeling a fair bit of passive exhaust coming from the top and the back of the case from these 140 millimeter intakes. But I think we could use at least a 140 millimeter fan in the back to move some of this heat that's building up back here. And other than that, courtesy of Crucial, who sponsored this video, and Make-A-Wish, who have been granting wishes since the 1980s, we're about to box this up and see Grant's reaction. We got a package. We, we didn't got know. A package. I didn't know what it was, but my name was on it. This is the first thing I see, so I know it's last time. Oh goes. my gosh, that's awesome. So there's some stickers. First thing I did. did what is that? It's a CPU pillow. What is that? <laughs> it's oh, it's a pillow. That's yeah. a CPU. That's cute. That's like a, yeah. I thought it was something that goes on a computer. Here it is. <laughs> Oh that my gosh, that they just released. That is adorable. That's awesome. <laughs> Here, oh, I'm excited about this. Here is their giant desk pad. Oh lord, that's also, huge. <laughs> just recently released. Very Aww. good. A uh, water bottle. Oh, awesome! You could use that I definitely. Could definitely use that. Yeah. Uh, small, smaller CPU. Oh. <laughs> So I was going to buy this. I know you oh, were. That's funny. <laughs> oh, this is new too. Oh, good. Years, you can use that for school. This is really nice. Nice. Hat can always use hats. Oh, for sure. Hat Every day at school. Yeah. I, I was going to buy this too. Yeah. Oh, I like it. Like I like it. Months ago. That's funny. He wears hats every um, day to school. I use hats. Oh, it's like a hard drive. Oh, this. that is so cool. Oh. Jeez Louise. This is a uh, jacket. <gasps> no way. You need one. Yeah, and this is like a nice jacket. That's perfect. I'll have to open it. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> oh my God. Oh wow, that is so nice. So. Oh, and it says it on the sleeve. <gasps> that is so nice. Um, oh, you'll like that. That's definitely okay. Nice. Okay. Okay. Very nice. <laughs> Gotta be careful when I wash uh, that. That's it. <laughs> okay. So yeah. nice. Good so start. nice. Good start. What do you say? Thank you. <laughs> All right. New game. Oh, oh nice. That's nice. <laughs> that's a. It's a CPU Show me. Cooler. Show. Show. Okay. What? Here's a keyboard. Awesome. Logitech, just like I want. Here's a mouse. A motherboard box. See, that's why I was confused. 
Isn't it already put together? Oh, I guess we'll find out. I guess, is that just the box? Is it empty or is it got stuff no, in it? No, there's stuff in it. Oh, okay. So I'll figure okay. it out. Okay, okay, Ooh. okay. Okay, I think this is the computer. I think so. <laughs> Wow. Whoa. What is that? Oh my gosh. Oh, wait. What? Look at the bottom Your of the Your name's on it. Your name's on it. That's cool. That's wow. Cool. I, I, I really want to get this sock in it. <laughs> I think you got to put that stuff in there. No, no. Huh? Yes, maybe. Yeah. Right? The stuff they sent you, you put in there. Right? Yeah. Hopefully I put those, <laughs> my, my <laughs> CPU fan on, I guess I'll figure it out. Ooh, nice. Wow. So that's going to light up. Okay. Well, right, we will show everybody the finished product for sure. Oh, okay. Ooh, you got it. Hello, I'm Brett Metzger. Uh, last year, I was diagnosed with leukemia, and for my make-a-wish, I got a custom-built computer by Lions Tech Tips. Uh, here is everything that I got, for the most part. Um, I got this new mouse. Um, it's a Logitech uh, like G Pro Super Light, something like that. Uh, it's very good, very light. And th I got this keyboard. Uh, that's a 1440p 165 hertz monitor. Um, and down here, that is uh, my new computer. It has my name in the bottom right. I just got just this set, set up. Um, I, I figured I could use my old monitor as for my racing uh, setup. Yeah. So that's that. So this is his setup for now. Yeah. Thank you to uh, Make-A-Wish and Lions Tech Tips for everything. Hi, Hi. I'm on, I'm on. <laughs> Hello, oh how's God. it going? Thank you so much. Oh, our pleasure. Like nice hoodie, by the way. Also, I see a plushie back there. <laughs> it, 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 it was next to my, my VR headset. headset. Nice, nice. I, I, got, I, got, I, got, I got quite, quite the setup, setup here. here. Whoa, so here, nice. Here, here. Hi, me. Um, um, there's, there's my, my VR, my, my Fight Stick. Oh, nice. Yeah, what kind of retro yeah. games do you play? Xbox, Xbox PS2, PS2, N64, N64 Wii, Wii, GameCube. Damn, Daniel. Uh, <laughs> Is that a Dreamcast? Dreamcast. I just, I just got, got that. that. Yeah, I'm, yeah, trying, I'm to trying to get, get mostly, mostly everything. Every, uh, uh, Genesis, Genesis, and then and NES, NES, SNES. 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 What SNES games you got, by the way? All right. All right. Let's see if you got any of my favorites. Donkey, Donkey Kong, Kong Country, Country 1, 2, 3. 3. Okay. Good choices. Good choices. Uh, Super, Super Metroid. Uh, Super, Super Star Wars. Wars a Link, a Link to the Past. Classic. A uh, uh, reproduction of Earthbound, Earthbound because, because getting, getting a river river copy, copy is possible. possible. Oh, oh, Super, Super Mario, Mario World, World, Street Fighter 2, Turbo, Turbo, and, and Bust Move. Move. Not bad, not bad. I was playing uh, one that was one of my favorites when I was a kid, uh, but it's called Pilot Wings. And I was like, man, this qualified as like a full blown game for $59.99 at the game store when I was a kid. It's like, it would be three or four mini games in, uh, in a Mario party now. Like it's, oh, it's kind of crazy how much gaming has changed. Oh wait, oh, wait. my hand my hand helps. Good thing to mom. Oh, That's quite the collection. Yeah. yeah. There's some really cool handhelds coming. I'm still pretty jacked to check out the Switch OLED just because I think the screen is going to be a lot better than what's in the Steam Deck. But in terms of oh, ergonomics, yeah. man, Steam Deck, it's killer. It, it, I, I, was it, was heavy? it heavy? It's not light. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But the, the contours of it make it very holdable. It kind of reminds remind me, me of, of like, like a, a, Wii a Wii U. It's closer to a Wii U gamepad or to like a Sega Game Gear than it is to something like a Switch. It's all comfortable. I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be the emulation handheld to just end all other emulation handhelds. I yeah, think. Yeah. So hit me with your favorite retro game. Um, um, I, I played play a long time, time ago, but it's Super, Super Metroid. Metroid. Super Metroid, really? 
Yeah. yeah. It must be interesting to be like a younger a younger person where you don't have any recollection of the original versions of games playing that, these remasters or these remakes. That's, that's, I guess I that's, that's the main reason I bought the CRG, CRG was, was to try to, to, I don't know, I don't know experience, experience it, it like, yeah. how, how it was meant to be experience. experience. Yeah, no, it does make it does make a big difference. So what games have you tried on the new machine? I guess you probably haven't had it for very long, right? Uh, uh, I've just I've been, been downloading, downloading stuff. stuff. I'm about, I'm about yeah, yeah, I haven't, I haven't been, been feeling, feeling really good. good. But, but I'm about, I'm about four, four terabytes, terabytes down, down with games. With games. <laughs> Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I have, I have some, some questions. questions. Yeah, for sure, of course. I, 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 tried, I tried to prepare. prepare. Um, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Uh, did you did go, you to, go college? to college? If so, if so what, what for? Uh, yes, I did. <laughs> um, as for what I went there for, it was to spend my money. Um, it did not end up being a very useful endeavor for me. But I am definitely going to encourage my kids to stay in school because I think there's a lot that you can learn there. What I did learn was research skills. So when employers are looking for an applicant who has a degree or has some kind of post-secondary education, what they're looking for is someone who knows how to grind their way through and learn something. Because it's a lot easier to teach those people than people who never figured out how to do that. If that makes yeah. sense. Do you, Do you have, have an, an idol? idol? An idol? It's hard to uh, it's hard to kind of say this. It puts me in a bit of an awkward position, but I don't think people should idolize other people. I think that we should be appreciators of their work. But I've always been a little bit uncomfortable with the word fan. Obviously, wouldn't have asked me to like do this meet and greet with you unless you, you know, <laughs> felt like that about me. But my, the best advice that I can give you is to keep your eyes on the road and try not to focus too much on the person. Try to look at, at you know, what they've done that you want to emulate instead of trying to emulate a, an actual individual. You know, maybe I, I see this person I'm like, wow, I really respect this person's work ethic or I really respect this person's positive attitude about life. And I can take all those little pieces and I can put them together into who I want to be if that kind of makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Who's, Who's your, your number, number one, one person, person at, at, at L L LTQ, LTQ you would want, want to take? take your, 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 your spot. spot in my spot. I don't, know. I don't even think one person would take my spot. It's not so much that I think I'm some kind of mega big brain genius and only I can do all the things that I do. It's just that I think that only I can do all of the things that I do. So you could take me and you could replace me and everything would probably run better. You would just need more people is kind of the way that I see it. I'm like a jack of all trades, master of none. Do, do, you, do you play, play any, any of the games you talk, you talk about, about on Live Seconds? When we choose a game to benchmark with, a lot of the time we choose it based on how demanding it is or we choose it based on what technology is featured in it. So we'll be looking at, hey, we really need to evaluate this new GPU feature, DLSS or RTX or TressFX or whatever it is, right? This, this new functionality. So we're basically choosing from this list of games that's usually very short and the list of games within it that anyone actually plays is even shorter. So the games that we talk about on LTT, I mean, I've never played through Shadow of the Tomb Raider. <laughs> I, I've only played the first level of Doom Eternal. Um, but do I play games? Yeah, actually, I've been doing quite a, quite a bit more game streaming lately. All right, I think I have to go in just a couple minutes. Uh, do you want to hit me with uh, any more of the questions that you have? My mom, My mom keeps, keeps asking, asking <laughs> uh, uh, if you know, you know about, about anything, anything exciting, exciting that's, that's coming, coming out. out. You don't even have to look to me for that. I think probably the biggest one right now is Intel's upcoming Alder Lake CPUs. Those are looking like they might not actually be dog crap, which is pretty exciting. I mean, you don't want Intel to be on top forever, but you also don't want AMD to be on top forever. Anyone who's not being challenged is gonna, is gonna sit back, right? So uh, I'm excited for a return to competition from Team Blue for sure. And it's looking like it's going to be a really interesting winter. All right, well, no worries. You know what? It was really nice to meet you, Grant. Uh, have you a great too. night. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, um, I'm terrible. Um, um, he was, had a good time. I hope you'll get the video. Yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you. you.
all that. Yeah. That. yeah, I'm excited. I'm I'm jacked. I can't wait to watch them. Yeah. All right, take care. Bye. Thanks, everybody. I am so glad it made it there, One Piece. And I'm so glad that he loves the system. Grant, enjoy your many years of gaming on this sweet freaking rig. Thanks for choosing me for your wish. And once again, I wanna thank our sponsor, Crucial, for helping us build this awesome gaming rig for a kid in need. Crucial is a vertically integrated manufacturer of RAM and SSDs, and they make both high quality and reliable products. They have a ton of experience in the industry. They're long lasting, they're experienced, they're trustworthy. I mean, there's, they're all basically synonyms, but they're all ways that I could comfortably describe Crucial Technologies. If you need help finding the right part for your machine, just go to crucial.com slash store slash system scanner, and the Crucial Scanner will help you get the right part the first time, every time. Thanks again for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, maybe go check out ROG Rig Reboot. It's kind of a similar idea. We build PCs for people. Some of those are pretty interesting.